The hills are alive with the sound of contractors baling and rowing and tractors, tedding hay and bringing it in, moving bales and wrapping them because it is haymaking season. The weather is pretty glorious. It's July and it's the time to get in the hay. Hay is beautifully mown here in the fields. Wednesday, it's a lovely morning, and we're going in a few minutes to give the hay a final work, and then we're expecting a contracting man to come midday. That's to bale it and wrap it all in one operation. So, hopefully, it'll be all systems go. How many bales? Oh, I can't never predict this. Last year there was about 75. I think there'll be more this year because the crops are better. Very, very light crops last year, but. Possibly 100, I think, today. Getting the hay final working for the day, it's come out a really good sunny day, brilliant for drying it and hopefully get it bailed later today. Well as you can see this absolutely gorgeous hay to be made as haylage. Uh, in the last two years the contractor that does the baling recommended that he brings his guy and makes a really big row which goes into the machine better, makes a better bale. So that's what we do. We mow it and t work it, but the guy comes and rows it up and then bales it. So we have just these quite big rows up the field rather than lots of small rows, which my machine's only capable of doing. And then there's that. What's Hello. happened? And then there's that that, dry, that does the uh, aircon. What's happened? The belt's broken. I know it's not driving the fan. That's what's up. That's what's up, John. So have you finished it or not? Well, we've finished, finished up, up here. there, but I haven't finished these others down here. Right. Nick said it was overheating. Yeah, it is, love, yeah, that's why, because it's the fact that the belts come off, it's not driving the fan, which brings, like, draws cold air through your radiator. That's the problem. That's what's up. There's tractors everywhere. That's the broken down one.
making is like a nostalgic thing for me. Um, ever since I've been a child, I've always been a part of the haymaking um, because the whole family used to go down to the fields to help out. And when I was the youngest, I would just run around, run around the fields, jumping over the rows of hay, pretending that I was riding a horse. And now uh, that's all I do still pretty much, but I do help get in the small bales when we have small bales. So earlier on you said he's coming at 12, what time is it now? 20 past 8. <laughs> what time did he come? Oh, I wasn't here because I'd gone, I know it was about 6. He works all through the night so don't worry. He's going to, he's going, going to nearly almost feel it when he's done here. Really? Mm, near Chesterfield. So how's it gone? Very well. We just had a bale. This has got a bit of damage on. We've got one bale has gone through the wall down there because these fields on these banks are quite difficult to bale. You have to back to position your bales so they don't roll, but because they're very dry and good round shaped bales, it just uh, set up. Boom! <laughs> So it just jumped the wall? Literally, yeah. Not even broke barbed wire. <laughs> so, the bale went through there. Yeah, you're supposed to ride down there. Yeah. 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 Oh, look, the donkeys have come to investigate. Hello, donkeys. Hello, you're nice, aren't you? Look at those views. Hey? Looking fine. Isn't it? Beautiful, isn't it? I came up here last night and I thought, there's no way I'd rather be. <laughs> <laughs> 